All right, so as for the Dymo here, so there's only two drawbacks to this uh, mechanism. Actually, there's one drawback to the device itself, and then there's one drawback to the app. The first one is on the app, there is not a spell check feature, so you must know how to spell the words or spell the words correctly because there's not going to be anything that's going to indicate whether or not your words were misspelled or spelled correctly. Um, also, I wish there was something where this, like, after, okay, so I wish, like, you could load your labels into a queue, right? So you could, like, queue up the labels that you want to print. So after you would click the scissors here, if you'd press or press in the scissors, then it would automatically just go ahead and release the next um, label, but it doesn't do that. So those are the only two drawbacks that I've kind of notice from doing this process but other than that i still highly recommend this item i think it's a great item so this is how i generally organize my paper files so i keep them in a filing cabinet and for the longest time i've just been making like little homemade tabs here like for example this filing system or the, this file folder here labeled dental and what I don't like about this filing system is it's not consistent, right? It's just like everything's just kind of bunched up and there's no uniform. There's no consistency. I want everything to kind of like run the same, right? For example, I want to have one color folder with one style of, of how I'm going to label the tabs. So that's why I'm going to use my Dymo machine to achieve an updated, more organized, more sleeker looking filing system. So I just printed off the label dental for my file folder. And this is what it looks like with the white background. So the other day I went to Walmart and I purchased the clear and transparent Dymo label refills. And I'm gonna see which one I like the best. Um, so just stay tuned for that. All right, so here are the labels. So there's, the, of course, the one on top is the one that has the white background, and the one on bottom is the transparent one. So you can just decide which one that you like better for your filing system. And there's something else that I want to show you all in the app that I thought was pretty cool that I just discovered. So from the overview page here, you can actually save multiple labels all in one spot instead of having to type one label out, print it, go back, type it again, you can go ahead and have those saved here. And I'll show you how to do that pretty quick. So go to this little plus sign at the bottom right hand corner. And I'm gonna type in health for one of my folders. And then at the top right hand corner, I'm gonna click on save. And then I'm gonna go on the back arrow here at the top left. And so you can do that for all the other labels that you're uh, planning on using for your file folder tabs or whatever, you know, whatever you have them planned to use for. Also, you can delete labels. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. So where it's um, titled My Labels, this little trash can, you're going to click on the trash can. Then you're going to click on the one you want to delete. I'm going to click on the second one and then click on Delete Labels. And if you're done deleting, go ahead and click on either Cancel or the back arrow. I'm just going to do the back. And you can see here on the home screen that you have the two left that you desire to use as your labels. Also to add, you can change the positioning of the text on your label. For example, 
if you click on textiles, you can either do like um, a left-sided position, um, you can center it, or right-sided. You can also underline as well as bold, uh, use different type of fonting, fonts. Um, you can also add emojis, borders, and here's some of the borders. And you can also add different formats of dates. All right, so I have completed my filing system. So I used these file folder holders that fit inside of a file cabinet. As you can see, these two little hooks here hook in on the sides of the drawer. And I used my Dymo, of course, to print out all these labels. I ended up using a transparent background. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Um, of course, I have more files I have to do, but I just wanted to show you all what this looked like um, just sitting here in the cabinet and I'm, I'm pleased with this this looks great so yes I thank you all so much for visiting my channel and looking at this review plus how to get your filing system in order uh, please feel free to like comment um, subscribe and share and I thank you all so much for visiting my channel and y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.